My name is Michael Curry. I'm going to show you how to make a three-dimensional illuminated sign using your Inventables X-Carve. We're going to make the sign by stacking layers of one half inch thick MDF. On top of that goes the colored acrylic lens. The last layer will be the sign's front face. To create the sign's front face, we'll start with an outline of the text that you're going to make into a sign. Use the Path Offset tool to offset the outsides of the letters by 8 millimeters. This offset is going to set the depth of the outer edge of the sign. I'll move my new offsets to a new layer and hide the original letters to keep things neat. Next, from the Windows menu, open the Pathfinder tool. With the outlines selected, click Unite and trim away any overlaps to make a single outline. Now, personally, I don't like all these little up and down movements in the sign outline, so I'm going to use the pen and cut tool to straighten them out. Now this is going to be the front face of our sign. Creating the sign's back is easy. Just copy the outer outline of the front face and move it down to create a new part. I'm going to add a hole here behind the eye so that we have a place to run the power cable. To make the sign's fill layers, copy the outline of the back and use the offset tool to offset this line inwards by 8 millimeters. You may have to adjust the joint style inside the offset tool to round to give you that nice consistent wall thickness. Copy this fill layer two more times to create the three fill layers we'll need. The third layer is a little bit different. It needs to have a pocket that will eventually hold the sign's colored acrylic lens. We'll create this pocket by offsetting the inner line of the profile outwards by four millimeters. We'll carve along the inside of this line using a 1 8 inch mill bit to create the pocket. We can import our file into Easel as an SVG. Position the cut file so that it's not right up against any of your material's edges, but also make sure to check your material type size, and thickness. Now we'll need to go through and set the cut path to follow the inside or outside of each line, depending on its location. All of these cuts need to go all the way through the material, so the depth needs to be set to match the thickness of your material. For the line that marks the edge of our pocket, we'll need to set the bit to move along the inside of that line. We only need it to cut a quarter of an inch deep. Now we're ready to carve. You'll notice that I've securely clamped the material, and that underneath our piece of MDF, I'm using a spoil board. I don't want to cut into the X-Carve's nice face. This is going to take a little while, so let's speed things up. To create the sign's colored acrylic lens, copy and paste the line that we created earlier for the sign's pocket. Offset this line inwards a half of a millimeter, and then delete the original line. We create this offset to give the acrylic just a little bit of extra space so we can set it down inside the pocket. Bring this line into easel, set it up, and we're ready to carve. Remember that cutting acrylic takes a little bit of extra time. Make sure to use a single flute bit, set the correct material in easel, and clamp everything securely. Assemble the science parts in a simple box jig. Stack the depth layers on top of the base layer and secure to get them together using glue or nails. The pocket layer needs to be the last one on top. Then install the LEDs and drop in the acrylic lens. Lay the front face and attach everything together with glue or nails. Create larger signs by breaking them up into smaller parts. Create smaller signs by using thinner, finer material. I hope you've enjoyed this video. There's really no limit to what you can build with your Inventables X-Carve. 